The man has it all. Gold medals, world records, an unmatched racing history, and an astonishing amount of money. But how exactly did Usain Bolt earn more than $30 million in under three minutes? From 2008 to 2016, Bolt was unquestionably the most dominant track and field athlete in the world. Over the course of nine years, he broke eight world records and he won a total of 20 international gold medals throughout his career. These athletic moments were truly unbelievable, but in 2016, the sprinting sensation raked in more dollars than any track and field athlete in the history of the sport. In fact, he earned so much money that his total earnings overshadowed any Major League Baseball player in the entire league. The truth of Bolt's 2016 campaign is nothing short of miraculous. During this one season, he only raced a total of 13 times, equating to only 2 minutes and 48 seconds of actual racing. And if we take his net earnings and compare that to competitive time on the track, we get something that's hard to believe. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Averaged together, and Bolt's wages for 2016 were approximately $600 million per hour. Now, this is a little misleading because there's obviously much more than just racing that goes into being Usain Bolt. But for the biggest athletes in the world, the actual job is to perform when the entire world is watching. And there's simply no one that did it better than Usain Bolt. Altogether, he ran eight 100 meter races, four 200 meter races, and a single 4x100 meter performance in 2016. And if we add these performances together, we arrive at a total performance duration of just under three minutes. At face value, Bolt achieved quite possibly the highest earning wage in sporting history, but there's so much more to Bolt's story. So let's take a closer look at how he attained his fortune and how being the fastest man in the history of the world can take you through uncharted territories. Now, there's a lot of different ways that a track and field athlete can make money. There's appearance fees, endorsements, championship prize money, and world record bonuses. And as you can probably imagine, he capitalized in every single area. At his prime, every time this man showed up for a track race, he earned anywhere between $200,000 and $400,000 just for showing up for one race. From Diamond League performances to international championships, appearance fees paid huge sums of money. The reason he could pull so much cash just in appearance fees is that the stadiums were almost guaranteed to sell out if he was racing. In fact, at the 2012 Olympic Games, where he was set to defend his Olympic sprinting titles, there were over 1 million ticket requests for a stadium that only held 80,000 people. That means that out of 1 million people who applied for seating, less than 1 in 10 would actually be able to watch this man compete. As you can imagine, such high demand created record highs for seating prices, as each individual ticket cost approximately $1,130 just for one seat. In doing the math for this, I was at a loss for words. If each ticket was sold at an average price of $1,100, that means that the total earnings just from ticket prices equaled over $90 million, and I'm sure the vast majority of these purchases were to see Usain Bolt. From an appearance perspective, Bolt overshadowed any other athlete by a huge degree. Compared to others such as Mo Farah and Ashton Eaton, who were dominant players in distance running and the decathlon back in 2016, he earned approximately 10 times more than either athlete. And although this amount of money might seem ridiculous, some still maintain that Bolt was actually undervalued in terms of financial compensation. According to Paul Doyle, an experienced track and field analyst, he said that Bolt is the single highest paid athlete in the history of track and field but he's also probably the most underpaid athlete in track and field history. For those who watched this man run, you know that he was absolutely unforgettable. From his magical triple world record throwdown back in 2008 to the historic triple triple in 2016, his presence alone was certainly sensational, but somehow his follow through on the track was even more spectacular. Bolt's continued success throughout the years blossomed during the 2016 season, with the Olympic Games being a big catalyst for international attention. Indeed, his athletic presence was at an all-time high, but given his elite athletic profile, race directors were willing to pay drastic prices just for a glimpse of his greatness. Next, let's move on to prize money. Over the years, Bolt has certainly made some solid money through his record-breaking performances. In both 2008 and 2009, 
He broke multiple world records in the Olympic Games and the World Championships, and along with these incredible moments came incredible bonuses. For his world record moments, he's made around $1 million just through the bonuses. And for his international gold medals, he's made approximately $1 million here as well. To get a glimpse of his real earnings from world records, we should go back to 2008. That year, he not only won the 100, the 200, and the 4x100 meter relay, but he broke the world record in each event. Along with gold medals and the world record bonuses, he earned approximately $480,000 in the Beijing Olympics. Not bad for three days of work. While 2008 certainly presented huge sums of money, 2016 was actually much lower for Bolt. Although he won three gold medals and became the first athlete to ever win the three-peat, he fell just short of world record performances, ultimately missing out on additional prize money. In total, he earned around $200,000 for his various victories, which is certainly desirable money for a mere mortal. But for Bolt, this was a small amount of money. Moving on, we have easily the biggest category where Bolt made his money, and that area is endorsements. Back in 2016, if you had Bolt supporting your product, you were almost guaranteed to see an increase in consumer purchasing. At the time, Bolt had huge support from Gatorade, Visa, Virgin Media, Hublot, and Nippon Airways. However, Bolt's biggest endorsement was from Puma, who reportedly paid him over $10 million in 2016. Puma's involvement with Bolt goes all the way back to 2002, when he was only 16 years old. And as the years progressed and Bolt continued his ruthless domination throughout the track and field world, naturally, Puma was willing to pay much more. Throughout the years, various rumors have floated around that Bolt would soon drop his Puma contract and sign with Nike. However, none of these claims have ever been confirmed, and his Puma contract stayed solid throughout his career. Altogether, Puma dished out around 50 to 70 million dollars to Bolt, which is much more than any other contract in his career. When you think about it, Bolt's complete authority in 2016 stretched far beyond the track. Indeed, he was the driving force for race day competition, but he was also the clear leader when it came to international endorsements. In 2016, Bolt was the 32nd highest paid athlete in the entire world, which made him far and away the richest athlete in track and field history. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you all in the next video.